But Savan, can I just ask you, can I interject here and just say that this goes to the, the idea of sub-matrixes that you mentioned in your videos and the idea of a, of a shared supportive reality experience where people with their own personal realities come together and support each other and so they manifest a hurricane or a, a major World War III so there's so many people creating this particular reality and it's affecting other people who don't want it so we're now forced to sort of deal with if this is the case are we forced to deal with other people's manifestations if they create a war are we sort of required to now respond to that and uh, well, well, this protect thing, ourselves from the, it? The first thing that we're required to do is we're required to get ourselves into shape. That's what we call inner stand. So we've got to get ourselves together before we can start working on everybody else. And then the second move is once you start realizing what's actually going on, you realize that the strongest mind wins. This means the, the, there's power within our consciousness. So when you, when you step up to that level and you say, okay, well, I'm going to do something about this, this is literally like saying, okay, I'm not going to be a bagger in the store anymore. I'm going for president. This is a big move. Like if you really are expecting to accomplish this, you would have to realize you would need to actually transform your own vehicle, right? And then you would have to look for some ways to kind of make some quantum leaps back into your true power because it can handle situations like we're dealing in the world, with in the world right now rather easy. But this stage is not easily attained. So what happens then is, is that you have these multiple projections running, just so you're very clear about what you're witnessing in the reality. You have multiple projections running on different timelines. There's no such thing as time. So they're all d interacting at a certain point with a certain level of awareness, and then you have yourself. So as this, the timeline stretches off from all events, you can actually choose to be in any of those spaces in time. That's what happens when you die is that you generally will go, if you, if you haven't broke the cycle between even believing that the guy you're seeing in the mirror is yourself, you will try to travel down the timelines again of who you were as a being, and then you will try to activate yourself at that point to where you had a spike in your frequency. This is an event that occurred that allowed you to become aware more of yourself. So when you see a mainframe like that, then you see that, of course, there are perpetrators of this doomsday or you can't have this knowledge power. There's going to be bad laws, rules, the economy is going to crash, all these different things. You have that, but that should only spur because nature is going to keep it in balance. That should spur mm -hmm. the people to actually that are gifted with the talent of the invention, the visions, the creations of things like this station to get more busy about what they're doing because people still have a choice. Now, first of all, when we say that, okay, so this World War III and this destruction is going to come, there's still a large group of people, a large amount of people in the truth side of themselves, they don't want to see that happen. Now, of course, we have other scenarios like what's going on right now with the, in the Arab countries and the desolation of the Arab co countries and the wars that we're seeing right now. Right. But these wars are more related to the Anunnaki, Nibiru, and Planet X concepts, such as uh, Allah and Alat, the three wives, the, the cube itself, even the eye of Saturn, different levels of the what we call occult or hidden knowledge that what those beings are doing, just to make it very clear, because we can't, you know, I'll just say like this, your feelings is, is how a lot of people are actually getting tricked in this world, because what the truth is to it is that all of us have come from a certain stage, right? We either come from the, the complete sludge, the bottom, and we come from the top. We do those at the same time. That's why they say as above, so below, because you start from the highest high, and if you can say you have that position, then you also have a position in the lowest low. And then you sandwich, and this is what we're calling this reality. And what we're doing now is we're accomplishing the great arcana, which is to mesh the flesh with the spirit. That's what guys like Dynamo Jack, Qi Gong Masters, My Gong Masters, Kundalini, etc., is about tonals and noggles, you know, dreaming and, and consciously dreaming, conscious daydreaming. These kind of things are all accomplished by merging two powers and two forces. So if the school is to basically invent the greatest evil, the destruction of the world, nothing can be more evil, and the greatest good, the salvation and the growth and the expansion, the bright day that comes next, that's what would be the antithesis. And that's why I say on my Skype, they're the birth and the death of the greatest illusions. Because if we start buying into the program, and I'll say this, I know we're on time, you st we start buying into programs and investing in these programs, 
and we choose not to devaluate them, meaning it's important for us right now to devaluate the whole slave idea in order to become free, sovereign, because mm -hmm. we we'll understand what mm -hmm. that's really about. So cut the cords on all the things that are draining that are antithesis type of concepts in doomsday, except that whatever was to happen anyway, it doesn't matter. You're impenetrable, you're impervious, your consciousness, it could only hurt for a moment. <laughs> like, think about it. Like, who are we and what are we really doing? The sheer fact that we're here lets us know a lot of things and it lets us know just as personally that being that you're in right now the one you're running you need to get yourself on that level of being in the realization of who you truly are and then you can go and work on other people if that's what you're led to do after that but see what this thing is first before you start judging it and that's a big thing so you're, so you're saying it's less important for us to go out and try to protest and be a social activist against the wars and and um, the animal holocaust and um well that's still okay, so I, I will say this no that's rocks at a tank the the truth is is we have a power within us and this would have to be next show the periodic table <laughs> the laws of light the geometrics the cymatics go get your power that's all i'm saying like I didn't say at all that you couldn't do something magnificent. I'm just saying I wouldn't run into war with someone who'd never fought before. Train yourself so you could train yourself off of what is already in nature, just the biologic and energetic potential that you can harness from nature and from other things that are around you in order to power the vessel to get to the total awareness of how to move through realities. So this is, in conclusion, how you can basically change the reality that you're in. And that's just as simple as we can make it. How do you know that when you wake up, that the reality that you're in is the same person, that, the same reality of the person that's next to you? Because it's actually yeah. not. And, no, and I do understand everything that. you're saying. I, I know what you're talking about, about reclaiming your inner power. And we talk a lot about the spiritual warrior mentality on this show. But, but next show with you might have to be about the ascension, which I equally believe in. But <laughs> anyway, but that, uh, yeah. that's uh, amazing. Excellent. Thank you. Thank I, you for your... Um, wonderful amazing very very powerful ideas really activated something within me yeah i wanted to i just wanted to jump right in and because lana's always we're always trying to sort of get that particular question <laughs> clear we've asked many of our guests about if you see a hurricane coming does or a train and you're on the tracks doesn't it make sense to get out of the way yeah i might just meditate uh, you know or, i might just meditate to meditate, so, meditate but, away but it's just that the nature of reality is so complex and i know this now and and so it's it's not always that clear when you're talking about when you're on a particular timeline we're not realizing how much power we actually have as co-creators of reality to determine the outcomes and i've only been realizing that over the last few years well, yeah, and i'm and, still and, learning you know, and that's the just just the journey that we're all taking back to the all-knowing and i did want to let everyone know that actually we're at secretenergy.com now so it's open source spirituality yes. if they want to check it out we got the university going on which is this was just like all over the place there's a step-by-step -step process of methodical knowledge that teaches what we're talking about here and and that's what it is. So I would just encourage everyone to, you know, do your, you, do your best in the reality. Be, be excellent, be great, and be the change that you want to see in others, of course. And, and this is something that I know that, you know, it gets better as we go. Like, it, just understand your power and your potential. Marvelous, Seven.